Hi, in this video, we're going to cover the Denali Exchange data feed and any relevant information that is important for users to understand relative to this data feed here. So first, we want to find this page. Let's assume that we're on the Sierra chart website. We can go to the documentation tab, then find the data and trade services. Here we can select supported services or just scroll down a little bit. Then we select the Denali Exchange data feed to get brought to the documentation. Now, this page has all the necessary information here. So we'll start with the introduction. The Denali Exchange data feed provides real-time and historical data for the major futures market exchanges. That includes the CME, CBOT, NYMEX, COMEX, EUREX, and the CFE. Data from the NASDAQ stock market is expected to come soon. I'll give you a bit of information here. Up to 1400 levels of market depth data per side, bid and ask, is provided for all exchanges. There are no symbol limits imposed as to how many symbols you can receive real-time data for concurrently. And this is a high quality and low latency data feed that provides tick by tick data. The most important thing to understand here is that the Denali Exchange data feed is not specific to any particular broker or clearing firm. It is a Sierra Chart data feed which you can subscribe to and pay for directly from your own Sierra Chart account without any involvement of a broker. It provides market data only and it can be used with any trading service including the Teton Futures Order Routing Service. So basically it is a market data feed provided by Sierra Chart and it works with any of the supported trading services. Remember that this is a real-time data feed. If you only need historical data, then use the Sierra Chart historical data service. If real-time data is required from any exchange other than what is provided by the Denali data feed, then it is necessary to use the Sierra Chart real-time exchange data feed instead of this data feed. So the Denali data feed is primarily for these futures exchanges, and that's what you need to know. Let's scroll down and look at the pricing for this. So there's two components to the cost of the Denali data feed. Number one is the feed itself. This fee is $10 USD per month before discount if you decide to pay for multiple months. And this is included with software packages 10, 11, and 12. Refer to the service packages page for pricing for those packages. The second component is the exchange fees and they are charged based on which exchanges the user chooses to subscribe to. These are billed in full each month, no matter when they are activated. This means that if we're towards the end of a month, it would normally be favorable for a user to wait until the first day of the new month before subscribing to a new exchange. Activating exchanges is essential when you're using this data feed to be able to receive the real-time data. Otherwise, data for the symbols an exchange fee is not active for will still be delayed. It must also be understood that when you have activated and are using the lower cost non-professional CME exchange fees, that these require a verified funded trading account with a supported trading service. For more information, refer to this help topic right here related to understanding and accessing data from the CME group of exchanges. So now if we scroll down, we can see a list of the supported exchanges as well as their exchange fees. So we can see that there are bundles that include all of the CME group exchanges, and we can see the pricing differences for each package and if market depth is included with each package. I'm going to give you an example now of how to activate the Denali Exchange data feed. So we want to start by going to our account control panel. Now when we're here, we need to scroll down to our account details. And then we need to make sure that our service package is set to one that includes the Denali data feed. So we can click here to change or set the service package and then scroll down here to this drop down menu and simply select the desired service package. In this case, I will select package 11, which is the advanced software package plus the Denali data feed. After selecting it, you need to make sure to click the update button before proceeding. Once we've selected the service package, we need to scroll down and make sure that we complete the proper market data agreements. So we can see here there is different boxes depending on which group of exchanges you need to subscribe to. The first box here is for the CME group of exchanges. The next one would be for the Eurex exchanges. 
and the third one would be for the CFE or VIX exchanges. So the first step is you need to make sure that you have paid for the service package that will enable the Denali data feed. The second step is to complete the market data agreements for the exchanges. These agreements are necessary to complete and sign in order to subscribe to real-time market data. And the third step would be to activate the exchanges that we want to receive the data for. So in this example, we have completed all three steps and we can click here to activate or deactivate any exchanges that are set to renew at the beginning of each month. We can view this page and scroll down. Right here, we have the CME non-professional or professional certification status. In this case, I have been certified as a non-professional because I have logged in to a live funded futures trading account. Another thing users need to be aware of, absolutely, is that futures trading evaluation accounts, for example, earn to trade Lilu top step, these are not considered by the CME as live accounts. So it will not certify you as a non-professional simply by logging into one of these accounts. You would absolutely need to log in to a live funded futures trading account with a broker that supports one of the trading services like the Teton order routing service. Interactive Brokers is also supported. So let's scroll down to see the available exchanges and how to subscribe to them. So in this scenario, I have subscribed to the full CME group with market depth for non-professional trading accounts. So this is set to renew automatically and it will be billed 100% in full for each month at the beginning of the month and it's non-refundable. This is an exchange fee, it's paid to the exchange. So here we can see if trading account info is required. We can see when our subscription ends and we can see the prices associated with each one of these subscriptions. Sometimes it's a little bit complicated to figure out which subscription you need for your account. These are some basic questions you can ask to determine which subscription you need. The first question would be, do you need market depth? Another word for market depth is level two or order book data. And I can briefly show you what this is. So on any specific market, the amount of limit orders being displayed at prices away from the current trading price, that would be the market depth. If you do not subscribe to market depth, you will only see the order book on the best bid and best offer, and there's no guarantee that it will be accurate. For this specific chart, I've only enabled seven levels of depth, but if I wanted to enable more, I could simply do that in the chart, and then they would all appear right there. So if you require market depth, you need to make sure that you choose the right subscription. There are subscriptions for each of the CME group exchanges separately, or you can purchase the bundle, which includes all four of the CME group exchanges. For most users that require the full CME group, they're going to subscribe to the number one subscription right here. If you only require one of them, there's other subscriptions. For example, here, CME with market depth for non-professional trading accounts. CBOT with market depth for non-professional trading accounts. In these cases, you would be subscribing to the symbols that trade only on those individual exchanges. The last thing users need to be aware of, there is a rule from the exchange that when you pay for a market data subscription to the CME group of exchanges, that only works on one computer at a time. If you need to use two or more computers at the same time, you will need to pay for the exchange fees again for each system. Okay, this next step is very important to make sure that we are receiving the Sierra chart data feed into the trading platform. So if you have a chart open and you're connected to your trading service and you have just activated a new data feed, you will notice the data feed should reconnect by itself. And then following that, at the top left of your charts, you should see the symbol for your chart followed by the letter M in brackets. The letter M here indicates that we are using a CR chart data feed. If you're connected to an external trading service, you need to do the next step here. So let's go to file, then data slash trade service settings. Let's say we were connected to an external trading service like Interactive Brokers. No matter what the trading service is, you need to go to common settings, which is the second tab here. 
and then we need to ensure that allow support for CRHR data feeds is turned on. Set it to yes. Then we click on apply all and OK. And then we need to disconnect and reconnect to the data feed. And after that, you should have the letter M appear at the top of your chart, confirming that we are using a Sierra chart data feed. Now, when you go back to your account control panel and you have selected your exchanges to subscribe to, we can see first the cost of our service package, followed by the cost for our exchanges down below. Remember that market data fees are charged in full. There's no refunds and it does not make a difference if you subscribe halfway through the month. That's why it is normally recommended that if we are only a few days left in the month, normally you would want to wait until the beginning of the new month before enabling a new exchange to subscribe to because you'll be subscribing from the beginning to the end of that month. That will be all for this video. Thank you. Take care.